My entire life, I've never really been much of a man. I first discovered this fact when I was five years old. I made a deal with Eric Davis. You know how it goes. I'll show you mine, you show me yours. But he reneged. After that, I decided to devote myself to matters of the mind. Physically, I didn't think it could get any worse. But then, 16 years later, I met Lance. got that party today. Better get up. On my 21st Australia Day, uh, Lance Johnson, my uh, phallic friend, was not where I expected him to be. I didn't have much time to look for him. Where would I look anyway? And if past experience told me anything, I probably wasn't going to need him anytime soon. Hey, Greg. Cricket? Uh, no. <laughs> hey, Greg. Cricket? <laughs> Don't worry, we won't force you to play. Yeah, you said that last time I went on with a black eye. Well, I didn't think that a tennis ball would do such damage. Mm. How's the novel? Oh, it's on hold. But. I think I've come up with a really good stationary idea. Octagonal posters. Yeah, someone's done that. Oh, damn it. Oh, you'll come up with something. You can stretch the term child prodigy for a few more years, I reckon. <laughs> By the way, uh, your friend beat you here. My friend? Yeah, Lance, someone. need some sausage. I'm sorry, I'm Greg. Have we met before? I'll give you a clue. You're the only person I've ever really met in my life. What? Um, okay. I know you. Like I know the palm of your hand. No? No. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. You've been jerking me around for years. Lance! <laughs> like, Lance, Lance? Lance Johnson, at your service. What are you doing out on your own, Lance? Relax, no one's gonna guess. Although that dude with the cricket bat did call me a dick earlier. Okay, why are you doing this? I've never lived before. I've never seen the world. And thanks to you, I've never even seen another person before. Not since your latency period. Okay, but why here? Why now? You've never taken me out at a party before. So I thought I'd do it myself. Regular people don't bring their penises out at parties, Lance. Brought you boys some drinks. Uh -huh. A soft one for Greg. Thanks, love. So, Lance, how do you know Greg? Uh, I'm his penis. I thought you'd be taller. Try heavy. Drinking Greg under the table, I see. Hi, I'm Greg's A pen pal. Uh, from overseas. Yeah. Mum, Dad, this is uh, Lance. Can he stay with us for a while? Hey. Mm. So what's with the fake American accent? What do you mean fake? It's a real Canadian accent. All right, Canadian. L Look, it's all about confidence, okay? Okay, so why not American? <laughs> I'm not that full of myself.
can't sleep. Got a bit of tension built up. Here. What are you doing? We both need to do this eventually. No, I wouldn't count. It'd be just like masturbating. Football in the morning, boys? Um, I... Do I? I? Finally. A real man about the house. Good night, boys. Good night, Mr. S. They'll be fine, Mum. She'll be right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That just sounds hilarious when you say that. Where did you two go? Nowhere. Hey, I'm horny. Are there any dirty foreign movies on TV? What's that smell? What is that smell? Beer? Whiskey? No, it's strippers. Yeah. I needed to green rocket science to tie these. Lance, what are you and my dad getting yourselves into? We're just being real men. You should try it. Real men. Oh, Jesus, that concept is bullshit. Yeah? So why do you get so worked up about it? I don't know. Because... <laughs> machismo is just such a ridiculous charade. Machismo makes the world go round. No, it's what keeps sports talk shows on air and bro hypno companies afloat. I don't know what any of those words mean. Come on, mate. A few kicks and we'll go for some beers. Look, Greg. We all know you don't want to be here. So why don't you just go home? and invent some stationery or Coke Picasso. Only a uh, real man belong here. Sorry, Miss Sampson, Abby. Lance, that's not what a real man is. It's got nothing to do with the sport or the sex or the beer or the fake accent. I am who I am, Lance. I don't need any of that stuff. Okay, let's talk about what you need, Greg. What you need to be a man is a dick. And you don't have that, do you, Greg? You don't have that core scientific, uh, a thing that makes you man, but I do. We'll be in the car, Greg. I think it would be best if your friend didn't stay with us anymore. Aren't you impressed? I thought you'd be taller. I don't get it. Regular people don't bring their junk out in public Lance. But I can still hang out with your dad, right? <clears throat> Goodbye, Lance.
That came back fast. That dude was a dick. He won't bother us anymore. Yeah, you took care of it, huh? So what's with the boner? Is it Picasso, stationery, or being in the presence of another penis? <laughs> oh, clearly it was a stationery. What about penis-shaped penis? <laughs>